what I want to show you now is the integration of Comedia Live Context with SAP Hybris. So I want to show you quickly in this video how we can create microsites, how we can um, promote products, product categories, how we create shoppable videos, how we create shoppable images, and particularly how efficiently you can create this content with Comedia and integration with SAP Hybris. So I want to show this to you based on a simple use case and I switch to PowerPoint you see this is a microsite um, I want to create now to promote my um, snow products here and particularly to promote my favorite product here which is this action goggle and you will see how easily I can create this content not only on uh, the standard channel but also on mobile channel smartphone um, tablet here as well and as always in marketing it's really about being fast and quickly and um, well, the obvious question to when should this be finished is always yesterday. So I want to now show you how easily you can create this microsite with Comedia. For that, I switch back into my browser and you see the Comedia Studio in here and you see the homepage of my Hybris shop here as well with inspirational content. So I want to create my new microsite here and I start on the left. Start with create content. Let's say I want to create a new microsite based on a template and I call that microsite speed writing as we want to create compelling, nice content together with products that are promoted for this particular topic. I can drag and drop the um, shop into that and then I pick a layout template this time I pick the Microsoft template that's all I need to do so I confirm this and then the page is being created so I can see instantly on the preview how it looks well currently it's uh, rather empty but I do have some input slots here some input fields where I can put in content so let's first start with the stories that we want to put on our um, microsite. I have the ability to access all my stories here on the article section. Then I get into the library and you see um, all the articles in the systems. I system, I can also search for it. Let's search for something related to speed. Here I found two, find two articles and I can easily mark them. If I drag and drop, I move them over in this placement here. And you see and the notice at the background, the page has already been re reloaded the hybrid shop page and you see these two stories being featured here and I can of course also browse that preview I can click on that read the entire story and very important you can see that again and again throughout the little demo here we have the ability to promote products directly within our story and I show you how easily you can do this in a minute so this was how easily I can put um, stories on my homepage or on my uh, microsite now it's also that I've not only produced this for one channel, we have this responsive slider here at the top and as a business user I can move that responsive slider and you can directly see how the experience changes on the various devices and viewports so you can see how everything collapses and yeah, what the experience looks like, looks like on different channels and this is really no additional effort for me. So very easy, let's take a look back at our scribble and you see those are the two stories I wanted to feature. Now we come to the integration with the Hybris product catalog because we want to feature the particular product here, the action goggles. How do I do that with Comedia? Very easy again, I can go into my library and there I not only have access to all the articles and assets uh, in my repository, I also have access to the full product catalog of my Hybris shop. So you see here, these are all the categories and I, I could further browse them to find the product I'm looking for or even more convenient, I can start searching for it. So I'm searching for my goggles and here we go, we find uh, five products. As a result, I can easily switch to a thumbnail view to even easier find my product and that is the one I want to feature. So I found it very quickly and with just one click I can create a product teaser and so to say create a link in the Comedia system to the actual product in the Hybris catalog. You see here as a marketing user I'm presenting with how how the product has been featured and very important to understand we did not copy any data, we simply store the reference to the product ID or the product SKU and this is what we use with our integration to dynamic fetch the price for example we can also um, uh, account for the um, um uh, inventory, inventory, so see whether the product is already or still available. 
and that's what we can do. As a business user, I don't have to care about that. I can rather test the deep link, for example, and you see with a click, I come to the standard product detail page of SFP Hypers. So very easy to create that product teaser. Now, of course, I want to use that in my microsite, but before I do that, I want to override the standard catalog image because that looks rather boring, and I want to find something that suits more for my microsite purposes. So in order to do that, I click on the pictures field here, and I get access to all the um, assets in my um, digital asset management system, and I can search for um, products that do fit. So I find four results here, and I simply pick the first one, drag and drop it into that field here, and again, notice in the background the preview has been reloaded, and well, that is how my product user looks like, and that's the way I want to have it. So now that I've done it, I go back to my microsite. Simply by a drag and drop, I can put this and place this product teaser onto my microsite. You see how it reloads the preview, and well, this is how my microsite looks. And again, I can check how it looks on various devices, and you see, well, it all um, you know, ties in very nicely and looks very nice. So let's go back to the next thing I need to do on my microsite. Let's take a look at this here. You see the little plus items here, and that means it's a shoppable image. So all the products that are featured in that image are shoppable. How do I create this now with Comedia? Again, it is very simple. Um, I can go to create content. I can first start uploading the image. So I do this by um, launching this little Dropbox. And then I can go to my desktop because I got that picture from my creative department already. So this is my picture of snowballs having fun in the snow. And I can easily drag and drop it into my Dropbox here. Say I want to upload it. And then the image is uploaded and added to the Comedia asset management system. Now, what you also notice is that, well, there are different crops that are defined. So I can very easily, in case the crop is not correct, um, change that as a business user. There's no need to have any advanced image um, editing software for that. That's all part of the Comedia um, studio here. So I can easily change the crop so that everything is um, working, working correctly. So, but but now that I've finished here, I want to create a, or make the image shoppable. And I do this with one click. I simply click here on this tab and say I want to create an image map from that picture. And that's been instantly created and I can activate it here. And then you see that I can draw on the picture. So I can simply mark our action goggles here, for example. So this is my active areas where users can click to explore the product. And I create a link to the actual product by simply tracking it and dropping it. And then you notice on the preview, on the right-hand side, it has been reloaded. And now I can explore the product, take a look at it, see the price, and with one click, of course, go further to the product detail page. So that was very simple to create it and to promote this um, product link here. Now, of course, there are more products that are shown here. And the question is now, how easily can I promote all the other products? And also, what products are there on that product? And as a marketing user, I get a hint on that um, by using this little light bulb. You notice that I get another panel here, and I can activate the product teaser suggestion. So the system now um, suggests all the product teasers that are shown here. Now, how do we do that? How does the system know it? That is very easy. Um, when the photographer did the photo shooting, he knew, of course, which product um, were shown. And he can tag, uh, the photographer can tag the picture with the product IDs and product views, and that is what we extract automatically and so we can recommend the products in here so that me as i as a business user can very easily simply mark all the products that i see here the blue jacket the yellow jacket maybe also the snowboard and then i only have to drag and drop the products onto my areas Let's look for the blue one here and finally for the snowboards and you see how easy it, that is and then I can test the experience I click on the different products I can really um, yeah, explore them and yeah that is how easily I can create a clickable image map very easy so I finish that and then I go back to my microsite and simply drag and drop it into this panel here and then the page reloads and you get a feeling for the principle now that I can do the preview I can of course test it here as well and that all looks very nice and that's the way I want to have it. 
Well, and then finally we come to the um, well, the last module here, which is a shoppable image, uh, shoppable video. I'm sorry, because we don't just want to make our images shoppable. It's also about videos, and I'll show you how easy that works. That works with Comedia Live Context. So I can take a look at the video assets that I have, and I can open one of the videos here close the library and we see that video here so someone going downhill here and of course it's not just a video it's featuring our products so all these products I see here I want to make shoppable and with Comedia that's very simple again I can activate the little light bulb here the suggestion panel and you can see that these are all the products that are featured in the video now again how do we know that well it's because the video has been tagged with the product IDs the product SKUs and that's how we can suggest the uh, products here now, how do I make the video shoppable? That is very simple. With one click, I can change a standard video to a shoppable video. And what we get then below is a timeline. So you can see that at which point in time in the video, a certain product teaser will appear on the right-hand side. And I can instantly preview that as well. So I start that video again. You see the first uh, product being promoted here. And after a while, when the... Um, uh, next product is shown in the video. See the gray trouser here, switches now to the black trousers, then back to the um, snowboards. You can see while I'm watching the video, I can explore it and maybe I want to buy this red jacket. I can simply click on it and go to the PDP, for example, or add it to my cart, whatever um, experience I want to have. So that was very easy, and if I want to add another product in the timeline, I'll show you how that is done. So I simply click here to add a product, then I drag and drop maybe the uh, snowboards here, in, and, and then I say, well, after three seconds, it should pop up. So I edit this here very quickly, and then I do the preview, and then you will notice that after three seconds, here we go, the snowboards is shown, and well, that's how easily I can embed and inject product references into um, the video. So again, very simple. Let's leave the suggestion mode, go back to the um, home page, and then we simply drag and drop it in here. And you notice how easily that works. And again, we can check it directly, the preview here. So very, very um, nice. Now I'm actually done with my home page and uh, my microsite. And the final thing I want to show you now is um, that if we take a further look at the product I was featuring, another thing I want to point you to that this comedian integration with SAP Hybris offers you is very sophisticated image management and asset management, which is not only true for inspirational asset, but also it's applicable to um, product assets. So let's take a look at the product detail page here. And you can see that we have, well, the product detail page in hand here as well. And well, by default, I have a nice microsite featuring that product. But when I come to the product detail page, the experience breaks a bit because the picture looks a bit ugly. It's just a standard picture coming from the PIM ultimately. And I want to override it here. And with Comedia, that's very simple. I can simply override the uh, pictures or the assets shown on the PDP by clicking create content. Again, I launch my Dropbox file here, uh, Dropbox here, and then I can go to my demo content, my local desktop, and you see that I have four alternative uh, images here. And I can simply take them and drag and drop them into the Dropbox. And then what I can do, I can simply um, upload all the pictures. So I click here. And what happens then is, then is that they are automatically added to the product. How do we do that? Well, again, the pictures are, of course, tagged with the product they represent, they show. And that is that it's just um, that is why it's just a drag and drop. And we can extract the metadata again. We can add it to the PDP. So you see that the standard high-risk PDP is augmented by, well, pictures, assets here um, that come from Comedia. The same goes true you see it here we reference here a pdf that is added here um, i could also add um, a video for example so let's take a look at our microsite video again i drag and drop it in here then it will be added automatically and you see that now at the end of the video uh, of the um, alternative image assets here i have a little video that is playing so you see how easily i can enrich that um, the final example maybe that i want to show you is that we also have a 360 spinner in our offering so i could easily drag and drop a 360 spinner in here again the experience reloads and then if I go to the left to the right then we see now I have a 360 spinner in here showing um, the product very nicely well it's a different product um, that's a fair point but what well, shows the spinner and the big benefit is that I can further 
um, manage and edit that vi that uh, these assets. So say, for example, I'm not happy with the crop here, so the snowboard is cut off. If I want to fix that, simply click in the preview, open that picture in the detailed view, and then I can go to the 3 by 4 crop, for example. So you move it to the right, the visible area here. It's all I need to do. I go back to the product detail page, and then you see now it's been collected. So that's the big um, yeah, story that we're telling here that um, the business user really is um, enabled to create new microsites, to um, create the experience, to feature products, to create shoppable images, to create shoppable videos, and has everything at its fingertips. You don't need to involve IT, you don't need to involve um, agencies any longer. You can simply react and create the experience experience directly embedded into um, the SAP Hyper Shop here. Yes, that was it for now. Thank you very much.